Welcome to Show Scale Modeling. This is part four of Revel's Clumbo Express Container Ship. Scale is one to seven hundred. In part three, I uh, concentrated on the deck, building the um, the basic form of the deck before attaching it to the hull. In part four, I'm going to be concentrating on the command tower. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. To begin with, I'm painting the mod. The main area is on the sprue, and I'm using 301 white silk by Revel Aquacolor. This is just the base coat I'm placing on at the moment. Now I'm moving on to a colour mix, which is Revel Aquacolor 310 Lithanza Yellow 75% and 30 Orange 25%. And this area is uh, the surrounding area that encases the um, the chimney. Next I'm moving on to Revel Aquacolor 302 Silk Black and this colour is dotted around the uh, command tower. Uh, it's just little pylons and um, aerials and, and things are going to be receiving this colour. The next colour is Revel Aquacolor 25 Luminous Orange. This is for the lifeboat. There's only two lifeboats that, um, in this kit. I'm sure that the ship must have had more but there was only two within the kit. So now I'm moving on to Revel Aquacolor 364 Leaf Green and th this colour is for the deck within the tower so uh, anywhere where there's viewing areas and things like that this um, colour goes in. The, the parts I'm painting uh, are only the edges uh, here that uh, get this colour. And once the green is painted in I'm just going back over areas for the 301 white silk. Again, this is for uh, little bollards and deck furniture within uh, the um, end platforms and such of the tower. You you'll see what I mean once I build it up. These are um, just the um, areas where the crew will go um, when going outside the ship. There isn't much detail to paint in actually, but uh, these areas um, I would suggest painting them in. The the other main areas for the white that I was putting the base coat on. You don't really have to paint them in so much uh, because they will be blocked off by the containers. So it's up to the builder. So the first uh, thing to do is start to assembling. And um, I'm building the side walls uh, first of all. There's a lot of slats in here that push into the main part. And it's important to get them the right way around because they also have the steps leading up to each level. And for the next deck, it's uh, pretty much the same again. It goes into the next slot up on the side wall. These are very tight fitting, but um, if you're building it, make sure you don't wait until it's completely dry, because you may have to manoeuvre the side wall a little bit just to get everything into position. And the 302 so black is uh, similar to the white on the green deck, just painting the deck furniture. The next part to be placed on is the front uh, main wall of the command tower. It's vitally important that you get this the um, right way around and in the correct position. I didn't. What you see there is actually wrong. Um, I didn't discover that until later on, but I'll go into that more once uh, I get to that part of the build. So I'm carrying on uh, with the next deck, and this is built the same way as the other two decks with the side walls with the slats in uh, to, to build up each tier. The best way to line these up are um, if you look through the actual um, access holes for the um, stairwells if you line them up with the stairs then you, you can't go wrong. And once that's done it's a simple case of placing on top of your previous tier that I done and uh, manoeuvre it into position. And the green areas that you see, these are going to be the only visible areas, uh, well truly visible areas, once the ship's been built. So it's worth taking your time over that. And once that's in position, it's time to place the back wall on. Again, this lines up with the tiers that I already, already placed in. And the next deck can then go in. in. The, there is um, markings on the inside of the wall for you to, to line these up as well at this stage. There's this bar thing that goes on the um, underside or the lip of the uh, deck on the back. 
Um, I'm not sure what it is. There is meant to be um, decals on it, but they were so small, I decided to leave them off. And now uh, I'm painting in the exhaust grid, or, or the vents, I should say. And I'm using Revo Hot Cooler 302 Silk Black once more. Now this is the back wall that forms a uh, part of the main tower, uh, as well as the uh, chimney stack system. So the top of this will be um, repainted in the orange colour, but I'll get to that in a moment. There's a couple of little things that go onto the main structure at the side. This is a like an extra little um, office block thing here that I'm putting on. I'm calling it an office block, it could be something completely different, but it's a structure with windows. And as you can see, I'm carrying on then building the tower block, much the same as the previous ones, putting in the side walls and uh, each level as, as I go up. As I'm carrying on towards the top sections of the tower, I'm starting to notice that some things are just not quite lining up how I would have liked. I initially thought it may have been the kit, but I hadn't had a problem up to this point. Uh, but I persevered and to, I thought we'll just build it and see how it looks. The side walls were becoming more difficult uh, to fit and, and these ones are not a straight um, piece of uh, plastic. These were all uh, put in at right angles uh, to carry on the, the e tower. So I had to get these in the proper uh, position. Oh, once I thought I had them in the proper position it was then able to carry on with the build. Uh, the so carrying up with the tower, the the parts are obviously getting small at this point because um, it gets narrower as it goes up, and um, th there's just a little bit more work uh, to be done putting in the side walls and steps and so forth to make up this um, tower, which enabled me to place on the next level, and then of course the side walls and uh, front walls or rear wall to go on. So it's just a series of little boxes I am actually making up. But these ones are again are more tricky because um, they're all going on at slight angles uh, uh, to fit them in. There is little markings on the deck for you to do this. But when it was time to put on the next deck I finally realised um, something was wrong. This top part um, wasn't uh, fitted properly at all. And what I'd done was I lined it up um, with the top part of the um, bottom platform and it should have been the opposite way around. So I had lined it up completely wrong. Now, the glue hadn't quite set yet. Um, I was able to prise it off without too much damage. Um, it did need a bit of cleaning up though uh, before I could carry on. So then, once I cleaned up, it was a simple case of placing it back on. I had to um, hold it for a few minutes and try and reset everything in its proper position. As I said, everything wasn't quite dry yet, so I did have that luxury of moving the parts that I'd already placed in. So it wasn't a complete disaster. It was a mistake of my own making. I just didn't pay attention. And I anchored the, the main piece um, the wrong way around. So I've got to show you, no matter how experienced you think you are, if you don't pay attention, you are going to make these mistakes. But once I got everything realigned, um, I was able then to put on the top deck and that fitted perfectly once everything was where it should be. The last main structure of the tower is uh, getting put in place and um, again it comprises of just some side walls uh, to make up the whole unit. And then this allowed me to uh, start placing on all the little bits and pieces that had to go on all the um, tiny little aerials and things. This one um, I'm building at the moment is uh, for the uh, chimney. That's the one I painted in orange. So it has a black interior with the outer walls in orange. So apart from my slight m mess up, um, it's going together quite well. I'll just hold off to the camera a bit so that you, you, you can see it a bit better. And then I'm going to go back to my paint mix. So 75% of the 310 Lithans are yellow and 25% of 
the 30 orange by Rebel Aquacolor and this is just the top section at the back wall that I'm painting through with this colour and once it was dry then I was able to put the final wall in place there are little cranes and um, lifts that have to go in throughout the deck and um, they're a bit small so um, I, I can't really show you them in too much detail but um, they're, they're just little cranes that go on the, the green areas with the deck there is location points for them to fit uh, as well so the, the tower is almost completed now and I'll just put on the top part of the roof and there's a couple of little structures going on top of that some aerials and and so on and this is where I'll bring the video to an end and the tower as I said it was a, a simple build really as these things go just made it a little bit more difficult with me not paying attention so if you haven't done so already why don't you check out the channel for my other builds if you subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that notification bell that way you'll be kept up to date with um, all my builds, including this one of course. Hit that like, like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment also. And of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.